Praise be to God, hallelujah, and amen. This is Pastor Apostolic Leader Michael Wise, so happy to come to you. <coughs> we come to you live here from Sunrise Studios, based right here in Hermitage of Nashville, Tennessee. We are located here conveniently for Hickory Hill Lane, Suite Number Two, right behind the Arby's, not far from the Hermitage Bowling Alley. We are so happy to be able to share the Word of God with you today, especially in this wonderful. Day full of glory, full of potential, full of the supernatural that God has placed within each and every one of His sons and daughters. Seeing these things manifest, this is our desire, and this is cry our hearts. This is what. We believe the Lord so powerfully and so mightily manifest. Why? Because this is who we really are. And as we talk about who we are, <coughs> part by just reminding you. Um, three specific aspects of who we are as a ministry. The first, that what we come to you as, we come to you as an online ministry. Yes, we are online. And friends, you can keep up with us. You can participate and you can see the sun rise in you. We have our Facebook page, our Facebook group, we have uh, YouTube, we have Instagram. Yes, we're moving away from Periscope. We have our custom church app our, um, that you can find either on my church app as well. Type in Sunrise International Church or go to our website, sunrise.com. And thank you for all of those who subscribe, who share, who comment, who like. Who truly get involved with what we're doing. Amen. And as you do that, you can find out that each time we share something, it'll be easier even to receive that which the Lord is ministering to the people. And my goal is to get this message to you as well today, if I can. That is the way Gerdo Filho. <clears throat> a word uh, to the Brazilian Portuguese speaking population who have something to share with you that will either minister today or in the next day or two. And we also have another word we'll be ministering. Concerning America concerning the nation, concerning kind of where we are, what we be doing now. And this is all part of our online community, of what we do, what we share. Also have an apostolic network. Well, so I want to encourage each and every one of you that is a, a fivefold leader, Ministry or church or multiple churches that um, many times you're in need of more direction, more support, more teaching, impartation, and encouragement. But we're here for you, performing a global family. And if you're interested in joining this network, please reach out to us. 
he will see the Son of God, Jesus Christ, rise in churches, and ministries, nations of the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. We are also, and <coughs> excuse me, we're also a local church based in Nashville, C. And so if you live in this area, okay, of Middle Tennessee, you're in need of a church, church right here, okay? And again, it's called Sunrise International Church. You can join us later today, actually, at 10 a.m. Again, that address is 1004 Hickory Hill Lane. All right, so so again, I'm kind of just been typing this in, but just to make this maybe even a little bit clearer for you guys, this is our our community worship service. I figure I'd just add the address here so you can see it. But it's our 
We gather 1000 Park Grill Lane Suite 2, Hermitage, Tennessee, every Sunday, 10 a.m. for worship, fellowship, direction, and empowerment. What a great time we have in the presence of God. We also have a dynamic children's ministry where we minister to the young people. Amen. Sunrise in Nashville Church, Nashville. Also have our accessing open heavens every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. right here in this same location. Amen. And we meet uh, our wise 31 women normally around 4 p.m. at different homes of our ladies. We'll be ministering. We'll be meeting again tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. Hallelujah. And we also have our rays. <laughs> Excuse me. Please one. Weekend meeting in the different homes, race one, race two, and they will truly make a difference as well. And we also want you to be aware of powerful friends ministry, which will be meeting again in the month of May next month, we'll be gathering together. Talking again about how do we get serious? About how do we get serious? Listen, beloved, this is absolutely who we are. Who we are. And, and we're walking in our identity. We're broadcasting weekdays, as you know. Sometimes we'll be able to do one a certain day, and so we'll have. A little bit of catch up on the weekend. This is one of the up days. Here we are. You know, year 2021 is to be a year for victory, for revival, and glorifying, glorifying the Lord and seeing the church, the world around us glorified. This is what's going to happen during this year. And we're finishing up our study of unprecedented community victory. This has been our theme passage taken from the prophet Zechariah, verse 7 and 8. And what does Zechariah say in verse 7 and 8? It says, And the Lord will give salvation to the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem may not surpass that of Judah. On that day, the Lord will protect the inhabitants of Jerusalem so that the feeblest among them on that day shall be like David, and the house of David shall be like God, like the angel of the Lord going before them. So, <clears throat> what we're saying is there's going to be unprecedented victory in our community. Just as we've talked about unprecedented victory in our personal lives, we've talked about unprecedented victory in our corporate expression of the church, the body of Christ, so do we want to see unprecedented victory in our community, okay? We, the covenant people, the church, uh, we see victory where God has planted us. That's what we're believing for. That's what we're crying out. That's what we need to manifest. And you know, I'm just thinking about everything that's happening you know, in our world right now, and some would say, oh boy, is it tough. Oh boy, is it hard. Oh, oh maybe we just need to, to quit. Maybe we just need to stop doing what we do. Absolutely. Yeah. 
else can we go? What else can we do? The reality is these moments, these difficult and <coughs> frustrating times, you can find the Lord, you're going to find hope. Amen. And we, as the body of Christ, can learn to export that hope. That, my friends, is something that God is calling us to do. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's figure this out. Thank you, patience here. We just had a here and or had some technological challenges this week. And we're so thankful for how God has enabled us to overcome these challenges. How about you? But we understand that God is faithful. He's faithful. In a week like this, he's faithful all times. I know he's faithful. And do incredible things. 